So here's my favorite shirt, free man. Everything that it represents. And I got to wear it today while interviewing a free man right here in my office I'm standing in. I got to interview a man I met in prison two years ago when I was there visiting. He got out a few months ago and, and now I like to connect with him every now and then and just, and just do life with him because he is so free. He spent many years behind bars, but he's such a free man and it's infectious to me to be around him because he has nothing to prove and he has so much to give and to be around that kind of person is so exhilarating. So today we sat in this office and recorded a podcast and and then I said, well, let's go do lunch. And so we decided to go to Sam's Club and have what we called a redneck lunch. And we got some samples and then we went to the deli and we got some lunch and some sushi and a piece of pizza. And we met someone else while at Sam's Club. It was a lady who was in line with us and she ended up sitting next to us and having her pretzel and talking to us. In that conversation, her story came out and she said, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in life. And she talked about something horrific that happened in her life a year ago that's hard for me to even mention. We talked to her and I said, maybe it's time for someone to show up for you. And I asked her, I said, can you, can you take my wife's phone number and reach out to her and let her show up for you in this season of your life? Because she said, you know, I, I, I feel like I have no purpose. She said, but I also feel like I don't want to have a purpose. What a painful reality. And based on what happened to her, I, I can't imagine the pain. The reality is her life is slipping away, but it doesn't have to. When we get to places in life where we're stuck, it can feel like there's nowhere to go and there's no way forward. I asked her again as she was leaving, I said, my wife will be there for you. No strings attached. No, this isn't a business transaction, no money involved. Just my wife will be there for you. And she looked at me and she said, I'm not ready. My heart goes out to her. I can understand why she's not ready, but I wonder if she will ever be ready because I think as human beings, when we get stuck, the feeling that we need to be ready might be the thing that most holds us back. We'll never be ready for a next step in life. When we're stuck, the longer we're stuck, the longer we stay. And what we need to do is take a step. And oftentimes that, that step requires someone. We need someone to just walk with us when we don't know where or how to walk. We don't feel like we can. We don't even want to. And someone else just takes us by the arm and we trust them enough to just take steps. And the next thing you know, Things change as you go. The heart becomes lighter. The perspective becomes more clear. But it requires a step with someone. My friend, when life goes sideways, we'll never be ready. And the longer we, we, we stay in that stopped place, the longer we're stuck. And then it's even more overwhelming, the thought of being ready. My friend, you don't need to be ready. You need to take a step with someone.